I'm in sound and I saw Rampage. This is directed by Rad Payton. And oh my goodness, I'm gonna go on a rampage because there's a chainsaw man about to rampage my butt. But also, this movie has the rock in it. Uh, spoiler alert. By the way, episode sponsored by my spicy site, Link Tree right here. So if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. The movie starts for following The Rock. He can talk to, uh, uh, I think it's a primate. I forget which, uh, it's an ape. It's an ape. That's what it's an ape. That's what it is. It's an albino ape named George. And we have The Rock's character can speak to it. He can sign to it. They're best old buddies. That's fun. I, I like establishing that there is some sort of friendship with uh, the Rax character and this animal. And I also, incre I relate incredibly to being friends. I guess getting along is more of a term. Getting along more with animals than humans. And that's, that's fun. That's all handy dandy stuff. And so I like how now we're at the point where we got some space. We're in space. The ISS, International Space Station. It's blowing up. You gotta grab some vials. You gotta make sure those vials are okay. There's something attacking this, uh, uh, this ISS. It's really terrifying. I'm like, where did it come from? I wanna know more about this. But no, they're just attacking. It causes a good amount of scratching on the escape pod window. Three of these pod things that were uh, taken from the ISS. Uh, and of course the window explodes. And those pod things are now on Earth. Three animals get a green powdered because there's some sort of green powder that escapes these pods, okay? I don't like this green powder. A gator gets it, a wolf, and this uh, albino ape. And it's, it's, it's sad, because very angry, very upset. This albino ape kills a grizzly bear. So if you wanted to know whether who would win in a fight, a grizzly bear or an ape, in this instance, the ape won. Uh, as far as my count goes, that's Ape 1, Grizzly Bear 0. Alright, so Grizzly Bear dead. Ape is scared. We have George is being able to talk to the rock. Also, there's some big old uh, brain facility behind these little uh, green powders in these capsules that these animals have inhaled. Big old brains, okay? They're like, oh, we're doing some research on genetically a modification. I'm just like, A, I understand why you're doing this space, but please, 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 please have any protocol that exists ever that would s probably seal any exposure of this very uh, dangerous and genetically modified powder, which I guess then goes and changes the DNA of the host, which sounds concerning, but I don't know, it might be cool powers. But of course you got big old brains that are like, oh, we gotta go, fall. we gotta go uh, have all these animals come to Chicago via a radio. And I'm like, why? What, you just want to kill the entirety of Chicago? Is that it? Why? Why do you want to do that? Ah, oh, man, these guys are pretty stupid. We gotta have a bunch of, uh, animals, these three animals, reacting to this radio sound and be like, Ugh! Oh no, I can't- Ah! I have to go to the sound and stop it. So they're going to Chicago. It's a big old wolf. And it seems like these animals are growing. So first starts at nine feet for this ape. And then there's also this wolf that's like about 30 feet. 
terrifying wolf. Oh man, I I would I would want to pet this wolf, but I would quickly get eaten up because this wolf just wants to eat eat eat. It's hungry wolf. It's getting really big. It wants to eat food. Okay, and you know what's a good advantage of being a big wolf? You don't need a a, a pack to hunt um, game like buffalo no more or elk. Okay, you can just do it yourself. You know what you can do as a big old wolf? You can just, uh, while you're running next to a uh, big old uh, elk, normal size elk, but you're running faster than it can because you got big old legs and it can cover more distance. And then you can just like go up on it and then chomp. Um, eat it whole. Um, it's like a little candy. A bite-sized bite elk for this big, massive wolf, okay? I enjoy this wolf. Also, the gator is terrifying. But by the time they're at Chicago, they're really big. They're massive big, okay? The wolf and gator and ape. Oh my goodness, there's so much collateral damage. There's so much fighting to have these animals not destroy everything but they actually do because they're animals and they're just fighting she's not it's not a fun experience also big old brains over here big brain idea let's just have them come to chicago and then what and then what now what big old uh, cage no they're getting bigger and bigger because you guys are idiots and uh decided to instead have a, uh, a, a space lab where you put all these these uh, fun chemicals, these fun chemicals that you're modifying or whatever, modifying whatever, okay? Very powerful stuff. Decides to put it above everybody in the world, which is space. Space is much higher up in altitude than Earth, actually. It's actually outside, well, I guess in that level of atmosphere. Uh, it's still an Earth's atmosphere, technically, but wow, the, the, uh, war, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I don't know anything about the ISS. All I just know is that it's spinning. It spins a lot. It spins. And while it spins, it also is constantly moving up because it's in Earth's atmosphere just a little bit, because it's affected by gravity just a little bit. Just because of the proximity to Earth. Oh, heckin' yeah. It's spinning. This is what the ISS is doing all the time. This is me and actual scientists. This is a scientific demonstration. I'm. Mean, this is accurate. Okay, wow, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Alright, well... While I recover from my vertigo, there is a lot of, uh, what is it called? Buildings being destroyed. Collateral damage. And, man, it's sad. So many attempts to get these animals down. But nothing is strong enough. Except for other animals. Okay, first of all, the ape uh, stabbing the gator in the eye. Terrifying. Good. Good thing that he did that, but he's terrifying. And it's like, what will happen now? Is there some sort of antidote or are you just gonna die? Oh, you're just gonna play dead, George? Yeah, you're established to have a sick sense of humor. Sick in the sense that you like to play dead. And freak people out. I- I- I was fun. That's a fun quirk for George to have. What's interesting, I still can't get over these really big brain dumb idiots. Man. These scientists. Why did these scientists just never- why did they not go underground? I feel like underground would be a lot safer. A lot more secure. A lot more security you have to, you know, breach in order to get to the substance that is so needing of being in space. A monster got to it, okay? A guy clawed your- you subdued some monster thing clawed the escape pod and exploded the escape pod and now everyone who's in the space is dead. And it's still no answer to what that guy was. Is just some sort of Martian? This is why you should have your secret evil organization bunkers underneath the ground. 
Put it underground, okay? Put this whole city underground. That's a movie, actually. But wow, do that. Do... Man, these dudes are stupid. And because of stupidity wins in this movie, we have fun animal battles. I'm sad for the animals involved. Very unfortunate. I wish there's some sort of antidote. Maybe there is. Maybe I missed something. But, man, these just. Maybe they deflate sometime, or maybe they just continue bigger until they pop. Or their body, maybe their blood. The blood cannot circulate through the entire body because it's so big. Okay. Probably that's gonna happen. More likely than he's gonna explode. Honestly, I would like to see him explode. I would like to, I would honestly love to see all of the animals explode in the sequel. <laughs> okay. You just, uh, what, what would cause the animal to explode? Genetics. It's, it's like a Voltorb, okay? This, you, you genetically engineer some self-destructive genes. And then, what would the physical actions of that be? Like, I don't know how explosive work. I'm, I'm not an explosive person. I have an explosive personality. Ha! Wait. Yeah! Yeah, I did it! Ah, I got him! I don't know if that was on camera. Yeah. I don't want to fall off this railing or hurt my hand. Uh, but this movie, very fun. The CGI. It's okay. 2018? Yeah, looks like it. Definitely, it's immersive, though. It, it's a fun, immersive world. There's a lot of... That. I I just like this movie. This is fun action. And the character development between the, the animals and uh, the humans. And human and animal. George and the rock, specifically. Plus, other humans more relationship develops, but I don't care about them. I mostly care about George and The Rock. I'm glad they're alive. I give this movie a solid six points. Six out of ten. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. You can also like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone you know. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer, so if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. Like to request a movie in the comments below, you can do that, or you can fast track a movie review request at patreon.com slash ASC presents. $20 a month for one movie review for one month, $3 a month for how to draw Pokemon tutorials posted there first and early ads, 250 vlogs right there, only on patreon.com slash ASC presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness, my link tree is, uh, is here. Go to it. <laughs> it really helps with the daily grindiness. My fans leave free to follow. So you can go here, and until next time, Min Sound Saw, I'll see you later, my Sound Croutons and Bacon Bits. <laughs>